to education matters where trouble is bring between the Kenya National Union of Teachers, that is NAT, and the Teacher Service Commission, TAC, days before their planned retreat. NAT is accusing the teacher's employer of intimidation and violation of labor laws for failing to implement their 2017-2021 collective bargaining agreement. Our Mark Namaswa now reports. Representatives of the Giant Teachers Union and TSC are scheduled to hold a retreat to iron out contentious issues of a deal between them. But bad blood appears to have developed with KNUT accusing TSC of acting in bad faith. TSC should stop with immediate effect, personalizing matters when NAD discusses teacher policy issues and grievances. They should stop putting our names in their media briefs, otherwise we'll sue them. So Sion says the TSC is already violating the CBA, undermining operations of KNUT and flouting guidelines in the teaching profession. Employment law is very clear. Any capacity building <coughs> shall be undertaken for any worker at the cost of the employer. Because TSC seeks to make 4.5 billion annually from teachers through these programs, which is against the law. That is robbery. Socion has poked holes into the performance appraisal and development form filling method, largely unpopular among KNUT membership, with some teachers having received show course while letters from TSC for destroying the forms. Those teachers who do well, either in games in class, outstanding, are promoted on this premise. It's already codified here. If the head of state has stated clearly that this policy of delocalization should be revised. Who is this in the Teacher Service Commission that is trying to go against the position of the head of state? TSC, however, insists the promotion of about 30,000 teachers will be done in accordance with the 2017-2021 CBA. Hence, the commission should appropriately move with speed within the window period of between 9 and 30th. Remember, the strike is only suspended and it shall be recalled promptly without any warning, should. <laughs> Solidarity forever, for the union makes us strong. We. This infighting between the two bodies is now threatening to disrupt the national examinations expected to start late October. Mark Namaswa, KGN News. For the union.